coffee corner where we consume too much caffeine talk about too many things let's dive right in okay so i'm starting this series series tentatively one so i have an excuse to consume more caffeine every day and continuously ruin my sleep schedule and two because i like the idea of having like a recurring series that i can always come back to in the future if there's ever anything i want to talk to you all about so i thought this would be a really cute little thing to start so in this episode episode one we're going to be chatting about the online semester that we just had fall 2020 first full online semester of school and just the whole idea of staying motivated as a student and especially during online schooling and i have my notes over here i prepared for the episode if you see me looking over there that's why just to set the scene a little bit I moved to Boston for the semester with two of my friends who also go to Harvard. Oh, okay, let me clarify. I am a sophomore at Harvard College, majoring in neuroscience, currently pre-med, so I'm hoping to go to med school someday. I rented an apartment this semester with two of my friends who are also sophomores for four-ish months from like September to December. We all took our online classes together and I am home right now, back home in my parents' house. It's actually christmas eve when i'm filming this so happy christmas eve if you celebrate so some other disclaimers i did pay for my own rent from my own savings received no monetary help from my parents i am low income i'm on pretty much full financial aid from harvard i'm gonna be very honest about all this if i did take this opportunity to move out and live somewhere else for the semester i wasn't going to ask my parents for help with that so i paid for the rent myself but my parents were very supportive of me moving after a lot of discussions over the summer about what i wanted to do for the fall semester which was really great i feel so lucky and blessed to have had their support with that and then one final thing is because i was living in boston i was taking classes in the same time zone as all these scheduled zoom classes being in the same time zone was definitely again such a privilege because there are people who lived all the way across the country who lived outside of the country and that definitely from what i've heard made it really difficult doing online schooling so with all that in mind i believe i can jump right into an overview of my semester and how i felt about it so an overview of my semester. I ended up taking four classes this semester. I tried taking five in the first two weeks, I want to say. Quickly realized I would not be able to handle the workload and dropped one of those classes. I actually vlogged about it in like my first week of classes vlog. I'll link it. <laughs> yeah, I ended up taking four classes and I'll read them out as I'm reading from my notes. Neuro 80, which is neurobiology of behavior. Chem 17, principles of organic chemistry. MBB 980P, which is the role of music in health and education. Hist Psi 172, mental health matters, recurring themes, and unfinished business. Neuro and chem are generally larger lecture classes. They typically have like a few hundred people. My music and mental health classes have like 15 and 30 to 40 ish people respectively those are definitely smaller seminars slightly more like intimate setting i think i had like the good balance between small and large classes like seminars and huge lectures that was i think really helpful in terms of spreading out like what i had <laughs> so going into scheduling and attending classes all my classes were online per my college's policy this semester if you see me reaching over here it's because my dog's over here i'm just petting him all my classes were online it was like that for every student even if they were on campus i ended up personally having mostly synchronous classes neuro was the only one that i really had like recorded lectures that i had to watch everything else was regularly scheduled zoom classes like real-time online classes that we had throughout the week so for the most part i was able to attend every class i always made a point of trying at least to attend every class except for maybe like one or two where i accidentally overslept maybe because like i pulled an all-nighter the night before but it was so hard to pay attention 
so hard oh my goodness it was it was tough <laughs> because i think for me the change of scenery when i'm walking from like building to building class to class last year on campus even in high school within my building still like walking across the building was was like a nice way to change scenery between classes i'm sure as you all know if you took online classes you would end up just sitting at your desk for hours on end that definitely does take quite a toll if you're you know, trying to absorb all this information and actually trying to learn. Concentration definitely took a hit with that kind of monotony, I suppose. There's so many days where my notes towards the end of the lecture would be like blank because I just couldn't pay attention. I had a room overlooking a pretty busy street that sometimes made it a little bit difficult to pay attention. But I guess, you know, there are ways that we try to get around it. Like my roommates and I, especially one of them, because we both really love Pride and Prejudice, <laughs> like between like classes or study sessions or something, Thing. I would literally just go in circles around the apartment like pacing joking I was like taking a turn about the room if you watch the movie, you know, you know what that means I think it was just that antsy feeling was always just there You know, you're stuck in one room Like you're maybe worrying about family You're worrying about things going on in the world and then you're expected to sit there just think about like hexagons and orgo i don't know <laughs> I especially hit a slump around october i think where i just didn't know what was going on in some of my classes like i would just be sitting there trying to listen trying to pay attention but i could tell things are going in one ear and out the other like i couldn't hold on to any information and that was really frustrating so it did sometimes lead to me feeling like i was constantly catching up on lectures because i had so much trouble paying attention the first time around so i'd have to go back and watch what was recorded that wasn't the best feeling if you watched my vlog where i was like going through a slump last year you know that i hate the feeling of not being ahead of it or on top of it but i guess to try to put a positive spin on it in a way it felt like i was learning at my own pace because when I was rewatching lectures and doing over the notes, at least I knew that I could pause and I could rewatch things, stop and go back and make sure I really understood it before going on to the next lecture I had to watch. Telling myself that there was a way I could put a positive spin on something like that definitely helped, so maybe that's something that could help you too, at least from my own experience. So now for the workload. The workload this semester was a mix of good and bad. I felt like there were a lot more little random assignments that we had to complete throughout the week. From what I could tell with my friends, it seemed like that too. And that was actually quite tough to keep track of at first, like which classes had what due on which day throughout the week. I ended up having to make like a whole list like, okay, Neuro has this due on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Chem has this due on Wednesday and Friday, like things like that. At least the consistency Consistency helped me to make a solid list like I know these are due every single week for the rest of the semester And then when dates change, I'll just make note of that but getting adjusted to that was a little bit tough at first Everything is all on canvas like this one website that my college uses for all our classes So sometimes I'll just be scouring the website just to make sure I didn't miss anything It'll range from small weekly quizzes to discussion posts to problem sets my bullet journal and google calendar definitely helped a lot with this because of what i was saying before with the whole teaching myself part of the course sometimes it did prove a little bit difficult to stay on top of all those little assignments and make sure that i was understanding what different questions were asking there was this one problem set for my neuroscience course where i literally just didn't know anything on the problem set because i hadn't caught up on the lectures in time i probably just like didn't understand it like i didn't have enough time to really review it to understand what I was doing on the homework I literally wrote a note on top like apologizing to my TF and I was like this is gonna be bad and you will see <laughs> little things like that happen they happened for sure this semester but like I said because I had so many different kinds of classes I feel like I also had a good balance of different assignments and for the most part it was spread out throughout the week it was nice that I didn't have like 20 problem sets or only discussion posts and essays definitely slipped up here and there but overall I made it through which is what really matters <laughs> so to talk about motivation this semester 
I felt like this was definitely the most difficult part. I talked earlier about losing motivation to pay attention, difficulty concentrating. I mean, just to be completely honest, I think we all felt it when current events, personal news maybe would really derail you. Make you wonder like, what is the point of this? Like, what am I even doing? Am I even really learning? Things like that. Valid, valid this year and this semester. I think something that I found really important was recognizing when to let myself relax a little bit versus when I had to really push myself. I think it's important to find a healthy balance of both because you don't always have to push yourself, try to make yourself be an amazing student all the time. And while that's true every semester, I think it's especially this past semester and however long we have online semesters like this. For example, if I found myself feeling stressed during a tough lecture while it was happening in real time and I knew that it was being recorded and I could catch up on it later, I'd sometimes just let myself sit on my bed or like on my desk and just play guitar instead of taking notes. Um, I brought my guitar with me to my apartment because that was a huge, huge source of stress relief for me because I knew that I wouldn't get anything out of it if I just sat there stressed for the rest of the, you know, half hour that I had left or 15 minutes I had left in the lecture. Reminding myself that I could catch up on this later, realistically, like knowing myself and what I'm capable of, I knew that I'll be able to catch up. Moments like that when I could afford to relax a little bit, I would do it. Giving yourself those kinds of breaks and that kind of balance, it helps helps you to have more energy and determination to power through midterms or finals. Cutting yourself some slack throughout the semester so, so important because you don't have to be on and perfect all the time as a student. It's not realistic. Studying. <sighs> Studying was so hard for me this semester. Like when it came to midterms, oh my god. I hit peak stress during midterms. I didn't know how to balance my time. I didn't know how to adjust to studying in the same spot all the time. When I was on campus, I would always study like in different libraries across campus. I would study in my room. I would study, you know, with friends, the cafe here. I would be able to balance it out. That helped keep me energized, excited about studying. Even in high school, studying in my room was something I did a lot, but I also was able to go to friends' houses or the library was somewhere I went a lot. So even then I was able to switch it up a little bit, but the semester, a little bit tough. So I really had to adjust with like switching it up between studying in the dining room versus my room. I'm grateful I was able to do that because studying in the dining room, starting studying there actually did help a bit. It was just difficult overall this semester to get my brain to really focus on what was in front of me. I'm sure that was the same for a lot of you. It was not the easiest. So just to go more towards what I did that helped me. It really did help to have a clear cut list of tasks that I had to do. Set the mood for setting. I will review lectures two to four today. I found good lo-fi music playlists, tracks on YouTube, on Spotify that I went back to a lot that definitely helped get me in the studying mood comfy clothes good food just really setting it up making sure that i have everything with me once i sit down like at the dining table so i don't have to get up and get distracted i think just within your circumstances whatever you can do to set that kind of studying mood is just really important because it's not going to be the same for everyone and it doesn't have to be the same for everyone so even if your circumstances don't necessarily feel ideal i think setting special parameters to consistently characterize each study session that you have like whenever I turn on that one playlist I'm like okay it's go time it can help flip a switch in your brain and just get you in that setting mood that setting mindset maybe light a candle maybe I like using this mug all the time whenever I study things like that whatever works for you you have to find it and help yourself get in that that spirit of productivity but again remember you don't have to be productive all the time it is okay to let yourself relax All right, so final points in this little episode, first episode of Christine's Coffee Corner. Cheers. Overall, this semester was definitely an interesting few months. The first in my academic career, as I'm sure it was for everyone. Definitely feeling lucky for the different advantages and privileges that I personally have. It's always going to be a mixed bag. I am still from a low income family, and so this pandemic has been really tough and 
I'm very mindful of the ways in which my background have contributed to my academic experiences so far. Like I said, I can't imagine how difficult all this was for other FGLI students, international students, kids in elementary school. I'm so like, I can't even imagine how tough this must be for them. Again, I can only reflect on my own experiences. This idea of online learning and learning during a pandemic is so different for everyone. And I want to be so mindful of that. This is just me reflecting on my experiences and what I personally experienced during this past semester. Hi guys, so this is editing Christine hopping on really quickly to say I do acknowledge that this video was not comprehensive at all in terms of everything that had to do with my online semester experience. Like I didn't talk about what it was like moving out into an apartment for the first time and it talk about like clubs or extracurriculars so i apologize that this wasn't um, entirely comprehensive it was definitely more academic focused so if you do want me to talk about that stuff like socializing um, over online schooling or things like that you can let me know in the comments um, and then maybe i can do an episode two of christine's coffee corner but yeah just wanted to hop on and make that little note so we'll see how this upcoming semester goes. For now, congratulations on making it to the end of 2020. I'm proud of you for making it to December. It doesn't matter if you achieved anything or whatever, like that doesn't even matter. The fact that you made it this far is so commendable. So yay, I applaud you. I'm so proud of you. You should be proud of yourself too. <laughs> so thank you for tuning in to this first episode of Christine's Coffee Corner. Oh my god, he's snoring. I don't know if I'll be able to film a lot of these long talking videos because like I said earlier, my room is in front of a loud street during like the semester, my apartment room. I'll try, we'll see. No promises though, so please don't hold me to anything. I'm just trying this out. So yeah, I hope you like this more chatty, laid back setting. My dog is literally starting to snore. I'm almost done with my coffee, so I'll finish this up. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a fantastic day, fantastic new year. This might be the last video I upload. Probably not, maybe one more, but we'll see. If this is, just in case, I'll say happy new year. Cheers to 2021, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!